26 year old man was struck and killed over the summer just outside of his family's home in East Palo Alto. Tonight, he was honored at the high school where he graduated and volunteered. New at 10 tonight, KTVU South Bay reporter LaMonica Peters live at Eastside College Prep with more from tonight's ceremony. LaMonica. DeAndre Stamper's larger-than-life personality seemed to impact everybody that he met. And tonight, the community he grew up in dedicated an engraved bench to honor his legacy. <laughs> Dozens of people gathered at Eastside College Preparatory School on Sunday to remember DeAndre Stamper. A bench engraved with his name was presented to his family and will remain at the campus he once attended. We had this idea of just... Uh, memorializing him uh, with a bench, just a bench where people, he can sit and, and be reflective of his life. 26-year-old Stamper was struck and killed in a hit and run crash on July 28th in East Palo Alto as he walked across the street towards his aunt's house. Eastside's principal says he had known Stamper since he was seven years old. From the moment you met DeAndre, you just knew that he was a special human being. Uh, he literally could light up the room uh, with his bright smile, uh, his positive attitude, and his friendly uh, personality. While at Eastside, Stamper studied abroad and volunteered in Argentina. And during his last semester at Colgate College, he studied in Jamaica. His friends talked about how his spirit impacted their lives. Uh, he was always so giving, even when we didn't have it. Like, I ain't have it. And he, he barely had it either, but he shared his barely with me. I'm just always going to be grateful. I got a, a lifetime's worth of memories over uh, the few years that I, that I had him in my life. Stamper's mother says the bench dedication to her son means his legacy will live on, and it's something she'll never forget. The bench is going to be so special here at Eastside because we have a lot of history, starting back in 07. Helen, Chris, and all the faculty and staff have been there for, for me and my family. And I'm just so, so overwhelmed and happy and joy, joyful for everyone that's here. Former East Palo Alto Mayor Larry Moody and others were instrumental in getting this bench dedicated to DeAndre. Now, police are still looking for suspects and trying to solve this case. If you or anyone you know has any information, please contact East Palo Alto Police. Julie? LaMonica Peters reporting for us tonight. LaMonica, thank you.